Hey guys, so I'm recording this on Thursday for Publication Friday. This is an end of a week video just to give you guys a little food for thought. So number one, what are the top three rules of programming? And number two, a few tips in terms of learning how to be a developer or programmer. So number one, the top three rules of programming in 2020. Number one, reuse. So you want to reuse other people's code as much as possible. Number two, the second of the top three rules of programming is reuse. You want to reuse other people's code as much as possible. And the third of the top three rules of programming is, of course, eat hot dogs. No, reuse again. You want to reuse your code or reuse code from other people. Now, to show you how important code reuse is in terms of software development, just look at the basic principles of object-oriented programming. One of the basic ideas, if you will, one of the basic uh, goals of object-oriented programming is to write reusable code. Now, this is a whole different subject in of itself. It's a bit of a unicorn, in, in fact, with uh, a lot of code. But uh, yeah, reuse, 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 top three rules of software development. And that means when you are looking to build something new, the first thing you do is you look at what else has already been built in terms of systems, in terms of frameworks, in terms of libraries, in terms of APIs. That's the first thing you have to do as a coder. Not start architecting, not start writing libraries. No, no. You got a project, just put it on your desk. You sort of come off with a basic idea of what you need. And then you go out there on the interwebs and you see if anybody else has produced something close to what you need, if not exactly what you need. To start rewriting code from scratch is uh, not a smart way to go. Uh, why? Because uh, you're going to be solving problems, likely, especially nowadays, you're going to be solving problems that have already been solved. So don't make the mistake of starting to write things from scratch, especially common things. Like you wouldn't go out there and start building your own MVC framework. They have been done so many times and there's so many different iterations out there, so many uh, different options, but it would be crazy to do it. Would you build your own content management system from scratch these days? Probably not. You could build one pretty quickly using a framework like PHP Laravel or Python Django, uh, you know, uh, C Sharp and uh, the, the .NET technologies, but you're much better off most of the time using a WordPress or a Drupal or a Joomla, something that has already been written. Yes, these tools are by far from being perfect, but guess what? Uh, they will be much better in yours, especially in the first year or two, simply because of the manpower that has already been put, put into these projects. You know, again, reuse, 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 top three rules of software development. And again, this is based on my experience going back hundreds of years of programming experience. Now I'm talking the 1990s forward. Okay, let's talk about learning how to code. Uh, again, a lot of people watching this channel, I think are beginners when it comes to coding. The key to learning how to code, and I've covered this in other videos, but this is important and I don't assume that you've gone through all 1500 of my videos. Yes, some people say, Steph, you know, you're starting to be a little repetitive. You know, Steph, you've only put out 1500 videos on YouTube. And you know what, Steph, you're starting to be repetitive, you know? They could understand if I had put out 5,000 videos but if, if I started to be re repetitive, but when you only put out 1,500 videos and you're being repetitive, I don't know about that. All right, so you're a beginner when it comes to code. What should you expect? What is the process? I'm gonna go over this quickly. I'm gonna do dedicated videos on this uh, later on. Number one, Understand that at the very beginning when you're learning how to code, this is the hardest part. Because you're beginning a journey, if you will, you're beginning the process 
of not only learning something new, but you're actually learning how to think. You're learning how to think in a different way. So that means you're gonna be rewiring your brain in a new way. So how do you rewire your brain very quickly and easily uh, versus, um, versus not doing it quickly and easily. So fortunately for you guys and girls, I have a background in psychology. I am not a psychologist, but that, that was my major in university and I kept up to date with the uh, uh, learning theory and so on. So uh, bottom line is you want to have a frequent exposure to coding. That means you should do a little bit every day as opposed to doing one big learning block at the end of the week. So you're better off 20 minutes a day or half an hour a day than, and five days a week than uh, one day where you sit down for five, ten, five hours or 10 hours, something like that. Why? Because the way our brains uh, work, they can only take in a certain amount of information every day, number one. Number two, they need time, they, the brains need time to uh, rest in between learning sessions so it can, uh, you know, it can parse through, it can process all that new information. And literally, because you're going to be forming new uh, neural connections uh, and updating stuff in your brain, you need to uh, give your brain a chance to do that. So when you're learning, drink, uh, drink lots of water, stay hydrated. Uh, the better health you are in terms of exercise health, the quicker you're going to learn, believe it or not. It's all tied together, mind, body, brain, all, this, all the same. So uh, drink lots of water, give your frequency of exposure. A little bit every day is very, very good. Uh, give your time, give your brain uh, time to rest, just like when you work out really hard, if you, you gotta rest. Resting is very important. Make sure you sleep well. And yes, you will hit walls. You will hit walls, meaning you will hit points where you're like, I don't understand this, I'm having headaches. That's a good sign. That means you're doing something new. If if you're training, and if you're not training where you don't feel a little bit sore or fatigued uh, the same day or the next day, then you're not really breaking any new ground. You're not doing anything new. You're not pushing your body to the next level. If you're learning and it's just all peaches and cream and strolling through the fields on a sunny day, uh, yeah, you're not breaking new ground. Now, well, structured courses will teach you how to write code very quickly and easily but you're gonna have to expect you're gonna hit roadblocks you're gonna hit uh, points in your learning process where it's like i don't quite get this i don't understand don't worry you do your 20 minutes minimum a day you give yourself break times do as i do as i just said and what will happen is then one day you wake up and you're gonna go i understand everything so what's the last secret lesson of learning to code don't learn